guys, welcome to week seven. I have yet to have a cheat meal in seven weeks, therefore I've convinced myself that I'm finally deserving of one. But instead of just going out and jumping in the car and heading to Krispy Kreme like I want to, I'm actually using this cheat meal to instill a little bit of extra motivation in me this week. So I'm setting my goals high this week. I'm trying to reach 121 pounds on the scale. And if I do so, then I get to satisfy my donut tooth. Last weekend I was in Daytona Beach this week I'm traveling down to Naples, Florida, which is my hometown, so with all this traveling I need just a little bit of extra motivation to keep myself on track. This week's topic is on circuit training, an amazing way to burn fat. Circuit training is a series of exercises repeated back to back with little or no rest in between. Now what's awesome about circuit training is that it requires high intensity exercise but in a short amount of time. So you're not spending hours and hours in the gym. And another huge perk of it is circuit training creates a great deal of epoch. EPOC is excessive post-exercise oxygen consumption. So that explained in like really simple terms would be the amount of oxygen your body has to consume in order to return it to its normal state. Now during that process, your body burns a ton of extra calories rather than if you were to do lower intensity exercise. So that's your motivation right there is push yourself as hard as you can quick amount of time and you're out of the gym burning a ton more calories in the hours following the exercise than you would have if you would have just done a steady state, low pace, easy workout. So I'm going to show you a great example of how to create your very own circuit. Now I'm going to go really minimal here and just choose a four exercise circuit using clips from my weight loss program. Now of course you can make your circuit with as many exercises as you'd like. So we're going to start small here with four exercises and we're going to start with an upper body exercise. So we'll do dumbbell bent over rows. We're going to do a lower body exercise next which we'll do some squat jumps. Next, we'll do something for core, which we'll just throw in some flutter kicks. And last but not least, we'll finish off with a full body exercise doing a kettlebell squat to press. So now that we have our exercises, we can choose a certain number of reps. So let's say we go with 20 reps. That means you're going to perform 20 reps of each exercise with no rest in between them. Or if you don't want to do a certain number of reps, you can choose to do it by time. So say we choose 30 seconds. That would mean you would perform each exercise for 30 seconds before switching to the next exercise. No rest in between the exercises. So that's 30 seconds upper body, 30 seconds lower body, 30 seconds core, 30 seconds full body, as many reps as you can, and then you're done with round one. Rest for a minute and then repeat, rest, repeat until you're wiped out. A full circuit shouldn't take longer than 30 minutes. Of course, that depends on your fitness level, but if you're taking longer than that, then you're probably either resting too long between sets or you're not pushing yourself hard enough. Because anywhere between three to five rounds of a circuit, if you're giving it all you got, you should be completely spent when you're done. So give this a try. Create a circuit with exercises that you enjoy doing and get the fat burning going. Okay, so I just got in from Naples last night. I'm back home. Rough week. My dog passed away. So I'm ready to get this weigh-in over with. Are you ready? One twenty one point six. That's three and a half pounds. Um, one twenty one point six. What do you say? You think? That, do I deserve my donut? Do I Dozen deserve? donuts. <laughs> How about we leave it up to the viewers? If you think that I deserve my donut this week, post a comment below and let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to share this video so your friends can learn about circuit training too. And as always, I'll see you next week.